This is Badwater Basin. This is the lowest point in North America, about 282 feet below sea level. It's right here in the middle of Death Valley National Park. Um, it's this incredible landscape where you've got the big valley floor, the Badwater Basin, uh, sitting in between these big majestic mountain ranges, the Panamint Mountains over here to the west, which culminates with Telescope Peak, which is over 11,000 feet tall. So we're looking at vertical relief here of over two miles between the tip of that mountain that's just been dusted by snow a few days ago to this basin down here. If we swing around uh, to the north, seeing the extent of the basin, and then come over here and look to the east, we can see the Black Mountains, this very steep, abrupt mountain front, completely devoid of any vegetation. The active faulting has produced the Badwater Basin, dropping the Death Valley Basin down precipitously and forming this very, very low area. All a result of basin and range extension, the crust being stretched east to west, has dropped the valley down while raising the mountains on either side. Let's focus a little bit here on the Badwater Basin and some of the unique features we see here. Uh, one of the things that's, that's typical of these extensional basins are these very flat valley floors. These are called playas. These are essentially uh, big flat bottomed valley floors. There's no outlet to the ocean here. Rainfall is incredibly scarce. And so whatever rainfall occurs in the mountains and comes down the canyons ends up going out into the valley here. But under this tremendous heat in this area, the water evaporates, leaving behind these big salt deposits. And you can kind of see the, the cool polygons and really neat salt features that we see here along the valley floor in this playa. Um, really, really cool features here. The temperatures in the Badwater Basin are the hottest in North America and in some cases almost the world. Uh, the highest recorded temperature here has been about 134 degrees Fahrenheit, so exceptionally hot temperatures. And the reason we get such high temperatures here is resulting from the valley itself and its topography. So the hot uh, air beats, the heat of the sun beats down on this area. The hot air tries, ri tries to rise and escape the valley, but it's trapped by these mountains. So it sort of just recirculates, and ends up getting heat hotter and hotter and hotter over time. Uh, this area is also really dry because it sits in the rain shadow of a couple of mountain ranges. It sits east of the Sierra Nevadas and a couple of other mountain ranges. So it's incredibly devoid for the most part of much uh, measurable rainfall. They average about, I think two to three or so inches of rain per year here. So it's incredibly dry. Uh, but again, this playa surface has these salt crystals. These salts are formed by the water that runs off into this area, has dissolved some of the soluble material from the rocks in the mountains. And so the sodium and the chlorine uh, bond together as the water evaporates to form these incredible uh, little salt crystals here. And you can see these big kind of polygons outlined all around here, people heading out uh, onto the Badwater Playa. Um, the other thing we can see here, if we swing around and look to the east, is there's a nice alluvial fan. So these steep mountain fronts, when they get rainfall, it funnels the rain down into these steep canyons. Um, and it, because they're so steep and the water's concentrated, it can move a lot of the sediment. And so as the sediment moves down the canyon, uh, it's moving with a lot of energy. But when it hits the valley floor, uh, it slows down quite a bit and so it drops that sediment load and over time it constructs these sort of fan-shaped deposits we see at the bottom of the canyons. Um, kind of a smaller one here, uh, if we swing around this way we can just start to see uh, the makings of one here. We can see the steep mountain front kind of there below the sun, uh, this more gently sloping alluvial fan and then of course the very flat horizontal surface of the salt playa itself. So fantastic scenery and just really amazing features here at Death Valley.